I appear to have built an accidental iron farm. I never noticed the sound of iron golem footsteps. It's very cool. It sounds completely appropriate. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, so I've got six iron golems in here. So remember last time I was complaining I had two iron golems. I was afraid that I had accidentally surpassed the, uh, the population cap and uh, surpassed 20, 20 villagers. So I generated a, a second golem, and that 20th villager could potentially have sp uh, sparked a, uh, a zombie siege. Well, I now have six. Earlier today it was five. Sun's coming up. Um, I don't have... Th there can't be enough villagers to support six iron golems here. So obviously something has changed. And we noticed when we switched to 1.11.2, uh, something changed with the spawning of mobs. Mostly passive mobs, but something seems to have changed there. We were getting llamas spawning in places where they shouldn't be able to spawn. We were getting uh, multiples, like massive multiples of sheep and pigs and stuff. So, I don't know, something's up here. And I'm also getting messages in the server logs about about duplicate mob a UUIDs. So I think there's a there's an entity duplication issue of some sort. Now I know that I don't have 60 villagers in here, and I'll show you why. So I finished building out the repair, the revised villager holding area. Look at this. So I've got 30 villagers over here. I've got five villagers over here. So I've got 35 total. They should be outside of the radius of the village, which should be right here, I believe. Um, and although Craft Bucket appears to have updated for 1.11.2, um, when I tried switching to it earlier today to try and use the village info mod, it didn't... Uh, it didn't work. It, it thought it was 1.11.0. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll maybe try again later. Um, we had some problems switching when 1.11.1 came out. Uh, switching back to vanilla was a challenge because because uh, I didn't realize that Spigot and Bucket happened to store the nether and end regions in a different place on the server. So you can't just switch back to vanilla because then the vanilla server can't find those those uh, dimensions and so it regenerates them. So that was a slightly terrifying couple hours while I sorted out what the problem was. So now all those villagers are outside the village radius and now I've got 19 villagers in here, I think. I don't know for sure, but it looks about right. I mean, I don't have massive numbers of villagers hiding in this area over here. I mean, I've got a few. Um, I don't have massive numbers of villagers hiding behind here. Oh, come on. Hiding behind in here or over here. It just, I mean, there's a guy hiding there. But yeah, so I don't have 20 villages. I don't think I even have 20 villages in here. I certainly don't have 60. And even if all of these counted towards it, like for some reason the village radius got massively extended, there's 35 over here. It would take another 24 in here, and there aren't enough doors to support breeding more than 20, more than 19 in here. So I don't know what's going on with these golems. They're going to be a huge pain in the butt, I can tell. Um, so I'm going to try and get rid of them. The problem is they have 50 hearts, and I'm not quite sure how the villagers are going to react. So I'm going to wait till night, and I'm going to try and call in the iron golems a bit. Um, it might be a little disastrous, but we'll see. I have backup villagers if I need them. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's going on here. This is a little bit chaotic. 
and it's not supposed to be doing this. Uh, I'm certainly not going to attack these guys while the villagers are still inside the, in, you know, during the daytime. So we're going to wait till night. Let me show you this over here. So there's there's no villagers on this side. This is all expansion. Uh, and I built this, and when I built them, decided I can build them face to face like this. Um, and I wanted to make sure I could get all three, I could get three sets of stalls outside the village radius. And I realized I could move this over a couple blocks. I'm not going to, but I could. But this ended up feeling, I have to do the roof up there, but this ended up feeling a little bit more prison-like than I expected, <laughs> which is not my intention. Um, and I've got a couple... I got a couple of them here that they're standing a little too close to the trap doors and I can't get the other trap door in. So I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to be a little bit creative. I'm going to have to put them back in a cart, push them back into the end, install the trap door, then get them out of the cart again. And of course they appear to take damage when you do that, when you get them out of the cart. I've got another one up here. Hi. And if I open this uh, with the mob farm being closer than it was when they were all over there, uh, they get a little squirrely, especially if there are uh, zombies hiding down in the uh, on the kill floor. Like if zombies fall and they don't actually die, and they hide down here, mob farm must be stalled again. Uh, but but I also suspect that the zombies up on the spawning floors might be close enough for the villagers to try and run away. So if I open those doors. Oh no, my farm's running. We have a little duplication going on again, don't we? Three. Yeah, I've been coming up here lately, and that duplication seems to have gotten worse. So I come up there, and uh, and I, I'll have like a stack in like plus six seeds, which is a little weird. Uh, so I'm contemplating putting emeralds up there again and seeing if they'll duplicate. But, um, yeah, so while we're waiting for nighttime, we'll come back over here and check on this. The sound seems to have stopped. That's a little weird, but uh, it's working. I've already cleared it out a couple of times. I mean, it hasn't filled up, but it's working. It's picking stuff up, and then I can clear out all this, and I can actually get quite a bit of, uh, of sugar cane which I need, um, so yeah, I, I'm doing okay on the sugar cane right now. Um, so as I move this, I manhandle these guys around and push them around and getting them out of the cart, since they do seem to take a little bit of damage and they heal uh, when you trade with them and they unlock, I will uh, I'll use the paper trade to try and to heal them up because I don't want because sometimes some people are having trouble with right clicking accidentally punching the villagers so they take damage when you do that too so uh, it's a little bit frustrating but anyway then I have to figure out what to do with this area I want to do something this is boring I want to finish off the walls. I suppose I might. I mean, I was thinking I could just block this whole area off for the time being. Boop. Um, just build walls around here to, to sort of hide it until I come up with an idea for what to do. Or I could put in a farm of some sort. I don't know. I don't want to put like animals necessarily down here, but who knows? Um, I And I could put... I have to measure. That's uh, 10... I don't have enough room this way to put in more of... Yeah, actually I do. I could put in more of those sugarcane farms in here. It might actually be a good thing to do. I could build them inside the wall here and then build a couple... Because they're only a few blocks deep. I could probably put in like five of those sugarcane farms right in here. I uh, need to get some of the ores out of the ground and out of the ceiling. They've got some iron there. But yeah, so, and then I need to start uh, weeding out the, the villagers here. I don't want to have a lot of these netwood guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. And maybe the guy hiding over there. So of the, the 19 possible villagers, over a third of them are, hi, are nitwits, unfortunately. And at some point we have to figure out 
what to do about um, I need to get some of these out and get them out over to Spawn Island so I can start building up a stock of villagers with which to build an iron farm. That is the plan for the for the Spawn Island. So, okay, well, let me let's wait till the sun goes down and the villagers all rush inside and let's see if we can safely take out a few of these iron golems and collect the gold or the iron that they will drop. Hi. Yeah, I do mean you harm. I'm sorry. One of the challenges I expect here is that these guys have like 50 hearts. Let's see what happens when I do this. And they take forever to die. And the others don't seem to notice. Now obviously he gets aggro at me. Oh, I can, I can take out, I wonder if I can take out all of them. Huh, and their aggro range is kind of slow, isn't it? Wow. Now, how quickly will more golems spawn? Let's see, that, this will be interesting. And how much iron am I going to get out of this? 22. Oh, and I didn't even switch to my... uh looting sword <laughs> okay so it's a couple blocks of iron and that's <laughs> it's a pretty low low yield iron farm but hey interesting so let's see how long it takes for them to spawn all right sun's coming up chatting with barb here while waiting for the sun to come up have not yet had any uh, iron golem spawn I don't know if there's any requirements in terms of uh, daylight. And it's possible that by attacking the iron golems, I've completely screwed up the reputation on this village. But since I can't get the village info plugin to work at the moment, I don't have a way of checking. Or at least I don't I don't know of a way of checking. I might be able to go look in the in the uh, the region files, I suppose, like I could download them and open it up with MC edit or something like that, but Anyway, so sun's up, villagers are coming back out, and I expect, I mean, I would expect that at some point we would get one iron golem. That should be what happens in this village, but we'll see. Uh, if not, I mean, I got 22 iron ingots out of that, and again, I didn't even switch to my, my looting sword, so I didn't get the looting effect. So... It's not the worst thing in the world, but as long as this thing is not turned into a runaway villager breeder, which it does not appear to have been. So I should probably go far away and so get this village to re to sort of reload, reset. Um, and we'll see if we get any iron golems out of that. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a peek at something else real quick and uh, we'll be back. So here we are in the community area. Um, <clears throat> potion shop there. So I think it turned out really nicely. Barb, Barb is just commenting on that. Um, Kyle's been building, sorry, as can see, has been building uh, some over here. And some of it's kind of cool. Um, next to his gargantuan pile of mushrooms. Uh, but, you know, he's got, he built a little stable here. He's got maybe a, a few too many um a few too many animals but he needed a lot of black wool for this thing this tower which is pretty cool i mean it looks neat from a distance and um and i put uh the the stairway kind of sucks but you know 
sure he's working on that uh, and there's not much up there uh, but he was out uh, while I was troubleshooting some things with the village today um, and he uh, stumbled across a desert temple and apparently didn't realize that there was a TNT trap in the bottom and his stuff got blown up I guess he got blown up by some of the TNT and subsequent explosions blew up the uh the his stuff i get i'm guessing that's what happened based on what he he said so he had a infinity plus mending bow and so i i offered to give him a new one so i put it in here uh he logged off and said he was done playing minecraft for a while so we'll we'll see um it's uh very frustrating when stuff like that happens uh so and um, I brought game brought one up and oh I didn't notice what Barb did to her little tiny house down here it looks like a mushroom now oh that's cute that's ah, super cute oh it's got eyes and everything oh my gosh oh, she put artwork yeah oh that's that's super cool and then she built that thing up there which looks really cool um it's uh not it's not a box that's for sure uh, so i put i put one up there for her because she was trying to she lost her stuff as well and she noticed yesterday or the day before that you can't put mending and infinity on a bow anymore and was a little puzzled about that so i i threw one up here for her as well which she already picked up and thanked me for but this is this is super cool i think this is a great uh a great shape for a for a glass house and it's got a great view and by using white glass um it it's a little bit the texture the the little highlights in the glass are far less distracting than they are with regular glass like this so anyway so she's got a she's got a good view of uh, VexFX Castle and Kyle's new build and and the uh, and the community area. So anyway, uh, I think that's all I wanted to do. I just uh, I thought the iron farm thing was was kind of weird and amusing, so I wanted to record that. I am going to head back into the end. I am still searching for an end ship that still has an elytra on it have not not have any luck doing that it's very frustrating i think the uh, the end cities are kind of ridiculously rare they're like stupid rare and so i don't know i don't know what to do about that um i i think even if i find an, a replacement elytra i have a feeling that uh, others would like to have them as well like uh, vex fx i'm sure would really dig having the elytra and fly around and I'd like to open up a firework shop um, do kind of a similar build to this I think would look really cool um, yep Barb is the only one who has seen the shop but she hasn't actually whoops oh somebody did donate something that's very nice of course gold I can get all the gold I need at the gold farm but that's that's super cool um so i don't i don't know who who was that um i think risk and see and barb are the only ones have been on so probably just one of them cool anyway that's all thank you very much this is theron it's minecraft land party and it's not a bad screenshot and i will see you next time all right bye okay i'm back at the village now after taking that little trip and i'm back to one iron golem which is what i expect and as much as it would be nice to be able to prevent them from spawning with some way other than re reducing the number of villagers um, i'm okay with one column we'll see what happens um so just a little little ps a little postscript epilogue whatever uh so anyway just thought you might want to see that Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.